ground. Let's take a look at what's going on in the world now. Beating Tom Cruise in the race to become the first actor to shoot a movie in space, a Russian actress and a film director arrived at the International Space Station on Tuesday as their Soyuz MS-19 spacecraft docked at the ISS. Yulia Perisild, who will hold the honor of becoming the first actor to film in space, could not hold back her excitement, saying she still feels like she's dreaming. The two reached the ISS ahead of Cruz, who plans to blast off on a SpaceX rocket for a Hollywood film that was announced last year by NASA. Parasild and Shepenko will spend the next 12 days on the space station, filming parts for the film The Challenge. In the film, the Russian actress plays a doctor who is asked to travel to the space station to save a cosmonaut's life. Over in China, with the Beijing Winter Olympic Games taking place next February, the final round of 15 testing events and activities to test COVID-19 prevention measures began on Tuesday. For the next three months until December 31st, test events will be held in eight ice and snow competition venues in Beijing and Zhangjiaqu. These will also include 10 international competitions, three international training weeks, as well as two domestic test events with coordination from the IOC. It's estimated that 2,000 international athletes, sports experts and IOC officials will be at hand for the events. The massive testing event is part of the requirements by the International Olympic Committee as well as the International Paralympic Committee before the official competitions begin. According to an official in charge, there are three major measures that need to be in place. These include strengthened remote prevention and control by encouraging overseas personnel to complete their vaccination process and COVID-19 testing before arrival, as well as implementing closed-loop management, enforcing a strict quarantine and inspection process for all who arrive in China. And finally, all participants are to wear masks and strictly implement prevention and control requirements. The Beijing 2022 Winter Games will take place from February 4th to the 20th next year, with the Paralympics to follow from March 4th to the 13th. It has taken over 13 years, but Coldplay is back at the top of the Billboard's Hot 100 chart thanks to their collaboration with BTS. Coldplay, on their official Twitter page, also congratulated each member of BTS as My Universe is the South Korean group's sixth number one in just a little over a year. Coldplay also thanked their fans, as well as ARMY, for making it possible for the song to top the charts on its debut. BTS responded on their Twitter, saying it was an honor to be a part of it all, while congratulating the band. My Universe is Coldplay's first chart topper since Viva La Vida back in June 2008. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.